Welcome back guys and uh, now we're going to be looking at making our loop so that um, at the moment everything animates in at the same time when we pass that trigger point. So we want to create a loop so that these animate separately as we scroll down. I guess the first thing we need to do is let's move this over to the right. So this is the wonder of CSS Grid here. Um, actually, I'm gonna just tidy this up a bit, make it look a bit nicer, even though that doesn't actually look a bit nicer, does it? Oh well. Um, okay, so um, let's go to our CSS and we've got project left box and project info. So we can copy these two, come down here like this and We'll make this project right and project right here. And then what we can do is, um, let's move this across and you can see it better. So we've got our first section here, uh, second section here. So this is our left section. Then we hit our right section. So we can call this project right and then we can copy this section here and um, let's move you over a bit and then um, put that down here and that should put it to the left and then what we need to do is style our CSS and this is the wonder of CSS grid um, project right dot box let's start it on column six and span it five, that's fine. Grid row one, that's still the same. And then project right info, let's start on grid column five and span it span it two. I think we should just grid, um, yeah, that's fine. Um, have I grid what's left? I'm, I'm gonna, no, that's okay, that's okay. Okay, let's test it out. Let's see what happens. Oh. There we go. So there we go. So we've got our, uh, let's refresh. And as we scroll down, we've got our left, right, left, right. But obviously they're coming in at the same time, which is what we're going to fix now. So let's get back to our brackets and our JS file. And let's move this over. I'm going to, um, I'm going to keep this open a sec because what we need to do now is create um, a function and we need to grab what we're going to do is we're going to because we what we're doing is we've triggering every time we hit this project so um let's make a new function um so let's grab our project uh dot uh, dot project okay and then we are going to go dot each function and then we want to oh no not there sorry and open our curlies here and then stick everything inside of this function okay um, let's move this into the function it starts there okay perfect uh, and this is going to basically tell it every time we hit a project we're going to search for some variables that we're going to make now and then we're going to animate them um, and i will show you this now so uh, let's create our variables um, let's do that up here and then we're going to go far um, what should we call our first one let's get let's hit the let's do it in this order so we can say um, let's say pick overlay because it's the overlay of the picture and then we're going to say uh, this and then we want to find and then we're going to grab our overlay div which i need to put a dot here overlay um, and then what we can do is we can just duplicate this line and then we can change our variable name so let's say project info next project info and then grab uh project info so project uh 
that uh, info, wasn't it? Info, that's right. And again, duplicate, and we're gonna grab our small title. So let's go, I don't know, what's, let's call it small title. Small turtle, small title, find, and then we wanna find our small title. And then duplicate this one again. And then we want to find our project link so we can go like this and project link uh, and then let's go project link like that. Uh, what's next we've got our h4 so let's come here and make that a let's say title and then h4 Okay, right, um, what's next? We have got our function for each thing here and then um, we need to let, what we can do um, is add some indicators to show us where uh, things are triggering, which is really handy. So um, because we've got this plugin here that we put in earlier, um, which was our um, debug add indicators, we can now come down here and just put in an add indicators and that should show us where everything is happening. Whoops. Um, okay, one thing we need to do now is we need to change the trigger element to this. So that will should trigger every time we hit this project okay so let's go up here let's refresh and scroll down and there's our first one and then our second one and for some reason we're not quite doing something right let's have a look so um, we've got our project each function pick overlay and we've got our this have we done all that right that's okay what have we done wrong Firewall we'll animate in. Uh, we've set our timeline max, and then what have I done? What have I done? What have I done? Scene trigger element. This. Okay, well, I'm not too sure what's going on. Let's go back here and start one. Why are, you, are they all starting at the same time? Have I done my loop correctly? Uh, well, that trigger's there. You can see it's triggering. Look, you can see, I don't know if you can see these guys, but if I zoom in a bit, you can see where everything is triggering. So start one, because oh, it's obviously gonna look better than this. No one's gonna zoom in like that. So start one and then start two and then start three. But for some reason, we're not quite right. So let's zoom back out again reset and come back up and let's try and figure this out um, so that's one in and why are you all coming in at the same time let us see so we've got our new scroll magic controller we're going to go project on each project each function and then we've got our have i set the correct i've got, we've got overlay that's right pick overlay um, oh, I'm an idiot, aren't I? What a no wonder it's not working. So, I we need to go overlay, and then we need to replace these. And that is me being absolutely stupid. And you guys were probably shouting at me, you idiot. So we need to replace these. And um, project link in here, and H4 title in here and then let's save it oh i need to copy that again copy and paste in here and then save it and now let's have a look at our thing so trigger start one boom that comes in then we go start two and this one comes in and now I, do you, I hope you can see this you probably can't let's just close this 
um, and then start three and that comes in so I'm gonna I'm gonna go back to the top and I'm going to zoom in a bit um, and then hopefully you can see this working so there's our trigger these are from our add indicators um, so that one fires when we hit trigger one and we hit trigger two and that one fires and then we hit trigger three and that one fires and that is all working well so um, yeah we've got start one two and three there we go um, let's zoom out again is that 100% yeah trigger one hit start that comes in trigger two that comes in and then that comes in and that my friends is how to animate how to trigger animations on scroll with gsap and scroll magic and i hope you enjoyed this um don't forget to do all the liking and subscribing and all that malarkey and if there's anything that you'd like like any ideas you have or anything you want to see me do um that you want to learn or anything just give me a shout in the comments and um thanks so much for watching and i'll see you soon cheers guys bye